At six foot four, 215 pounds, Doug Fisher was a three-sport standout at Bridgeport High School where he excelled in football, basketball, and baseball for the Bearcats. He got started in baseball at an early age and played for the Bridgeport Green Hornets 15 and under Knothole State Championship team in both 1978 and 79, as Fisher was the winning hurler both seasons. Oh, he was an exceptional athlete. We had, we had a lot of exceptional athletes on our team. But he was one of the better ones. There's no question about that. He played a multitude of positions for Bridgeport High and was named to the All-State Baseball team three times. He came into Bridgeport uh, knowing how to play the game the right way. He turned in an excellent junior year in 1981 when he was named First Team Class AB All-Area by the Saginaw News while earning All-State Second Team honors from United Press International after hitting 439 with 11 home runs and 42 runs batted in. He was just an outstanding all-around baseball player. One of the best, if not the best, baseball player that ever came out of uh, on the mound, he was a perfect 7-0 with a 0.28 earned run average. As a senior, he pitched a no-hitter against Buena Vista and batted at 630 for the season to be named All-White Pine Conference, All-Area, and earned All-State First Team honors. Because Duck, uh, uh, a lot of people didn't realize, it was an outstanding high school pitcher. Uh, he came in, he threw, I would say, mid-80s. Uh, his senior season, had great control, uh, great competitor, great mound uh, presence on, uh, when he was pitching. In basketball, the Bearcats co-captain was an all-white pine and all-area selection and an honorable mention Class A All-State performer after averaging 16.3 points per game. Fisher received a baseball scholarship to Central Michigan University and would go on to become one of the finest hitters in Chippewa history from 1983 to 86. And when Doug came over, of course, he was, he was a freshman and we, we had had some very good baseball and you don't expect freshmen are going to be able to contribute. But Doug was able to start for us immediately. He is listed in the top 10 in 27 season and career records. He helped lead Central Michigan to three Mid-America Conference titles from 1984 to 1986. Doug Fisher was twice named to the All-Mac team and made the all-region team in 1986. In his junior year, he hit four home runs in a doubleheader against Ball State to break a Chippewa record while collecting nine runs batted in. As a freshman, he hit 388. During his junior year, he hit 420 with 13 homers and a 709 slugging percentage. His career stats in 195 games at Central Michigan include 95 extra base hits, a 709 slugging percentage, 414 total bases, 229 hits, 46 doubles, 41 home runs, and 181 RBI. Doug Fisher was very intense. He never liked to lose. And when he played, he played as hard as he could. And even though I didn't take over as a head coach until his second year, uh, he could have pitched for us. He could have played. He could have played about any position on the field. He concluded his career as the holder of eight CMU career records. His marks for extra base hits and slugging percentage still stand, and he currently ranks in the top three all time in four other categories. Grumpy was a team leader but he was a team leader in a different way. I mean, if you weren't doing well, he was grumpy. Not only was he a good player and a good athlete, but his parents were good people. Hopefully we raised him by example and didn't try and do anything special. Just did it by example. And his mother was a wonderful person. She died when he was uh, 15 or 16. So that had to make an effect on him. That might be one of the reasons that they called him grumpy because I think there was some anger there. Fisher was drafted by Houston in 1985 in the 29th round as a junior and by the Pittsburgh Pirates in the 17th round as a senior. He spent the summers of 84 and 85 with the Cape Cod League's Falmouth Commodores. His 84 season is considered one of the top individual hitting seasons in league history as he tied the RBI record with 54 which still stands today. 
Fisher was named to the league's 1980s All-Decade team. Fisher was inducted into the Central Michigan University Athletic Hall of Fame in 1999 and the Cape Cod League Hall of Fame in 2011.